guy just uh, needs needed some confidence, and because uh, we all know how good of a player he is, and he just finally got the opportunity out there, and and shots were falling, and he felt great, and he's had a great game, and nobody else deserves what he had today. He deserves that for all the hard work, hard work he's put in. Why do you think you guys are so effective defensively today? Uh, our mentality, um, we were really focused and locked in on getting over screens and, and uh, double teaming Scott, trying to make him uncomfortable. And uh, everyone stepped up, did a really good job. I think we could have done an even better job. We had a lot of um, miscues on the defensive end, but we did a really good job overall. Are you surprised at how easily the guards were able to get into the lane? And I mean, you guys shot like almost 80% inside the three point line. Well, they, they took one part of our game away, so we, we had no choice. We had to get our guards had to get, go inside the lane, and they did a really good job showing on the screens, but they, our guards were still able to, to find holes and gaps to get in and to find uh, open looks. Are you surprised you guys can survive that kind of three-point shooting? Uh, I'm not surprised. We just, you know, we can't. We have this uh, thing over our head that all we can do is shoot threes, and that's all we can do. And, and you know, hopefully teams can see that now and, and know in the future that we can, if our three's taken away, we have other options as well. It wasn't, seen before. It wasn't surprising because he does that in practice all the time. He goes at guys and he's always finishing at the basket and he did a pretty good job today. It's just a matter of him just playing with a lot of confidence and he, he had it today. He do what he did today. I mean, in terms of our defense, really just guarding guys, keeping guys in front of us and rebounding the ball. And we got to start making shots too because we I mean, were 1 for 15 in the first half and then we, had, we had finished up like 4 for 20 people behind the arc. So we really just started having to make shots and then I mean, we got to just keep the good job up on defense. Pretty much all I know about them is they run. You know, that's all pretty much I've seen about them. They're a running team, they get up and down. You got, how do you guys like to play against those type of teams? Do you like to play that style of ball? Uh, yeah, you know, it gets tiring, you know, when, when you have two teams running up and down the court, but uh, we got enough players to rotate in and out to okay. play against them. Can you just talk about Casey's performance? And is that something that you could have seen coming? Or? Uh, we've seen it coming all year. You know, we just waited and, 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 and wondered when it was going to come, coach. Coach uh, praised him all year on, on his work ethic and practice and how he comes to play every every, every practice. So so for him to get come out and, and, and have a have a game like he did in the first round, you know, it's big for us and, and him. Any concern for you guys three stillers? Say it again. Any concern for you guys that three still aren't falling the way they have been uh, two, two weeks ago maybe? Not not no concern. You know, we we just gotta keep playing defense, you know, because you never know what could happen, but Gotta, gotta play defense and contain the other team's three-point line. That's what we can control.